Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, we're going to do a really simple recipe. My guest, Johnson Collins, said she's not crazy about tomatoes, but I'm going to make a dish you might like. You like pizza? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So you've eaten pizza on tomatoes. And these have a few of the spices that pizza has. And we're going to have mozzarella cheese. So you might end up liking this. And it's got garlic. And you know, our buddy that films this for us has got a horrible cold, and we don't want to get her cold, so we're going to stuff her full of garlic, aren't we? Yeah. I think that's a good plan. This is a really quick and simple recipe. The ingredients are Hunt's tomatoes. We are using two cans of diced and one can of whole that we're going to actually cut in half. Uh, mozzarella cheese, a little bit of sugar, a stick of butter, salt, pepper, garlic salt, a few bacon bits, and Johnson. Garlic. Garlic crisp, and Johnson is gonna actually, you're just gonna break all those up in little pieces, and we're gonna add them to this. We're gonna bake it, antioxidants from the tomatoes, a few spices, a whole lot of garlic, and it's gonna be a quick and simple recipe. Okay, Miss Johnson, now your job is to crush all those little crisps that are left. Go right into crushing. Okay, Ms. Johnson, we've put two cans of the diced tomatoes in here. And to that, we're gonna add a can of whole tomatoes. And I told you this is simple. It's gonna get a little bit of sugar, not much, because the tomatoes are naturally sweet. But we're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar. And we're gonna add black pepper. And a little bit of garlic salt, some onions. This should be a good antioxidant recipe, shouldn't it? It should also whew, keep everybody from getting a cold. Cut the butter up in just large chunks. It will melt and make this even crispier with the garlic crisp because the butter and the crisp will melt together. So we're gonna add a few bacon bits to this. And we're using the real bacon bits. Um, you can fry your own or you can buy these that come in the package, but these are the real ones. They're not those hard ones that come in the can. Now, Miss Johnson is going to add the garlic crisp. And we need these really, really crushed up good. Have you got them? I think you can crush them a little bit more. All right, let's see how those do. Oh man, that looks perfect. See, we're just gonna sprinkle these on top, which is gonna add the flavor of the garlic. And then it'll add the texture of the crunchiness. And I'm gonna cover this in mozzarella cheese, and we're gonna bake it. Okay, here we go, we're gonna stick it in the oven. 30 minutes at 325. There you go. Well, Johnson, it's ready. We're gonna pretend this is upside down pizza. Mm -hmm. You weren't sure you'd like scalloped tomatoes, but if we pretend the crust is on top, there's the cheese, the tomatoes are in the bottom, antioxidants, a lot of garlic, good for you with a cold. We're gonna pretend it's pizza and we're gonna try it. It smells great, doesn't it? Yes. It smells good. It's gonna be very hot, I can assure you of that. Mm -hmm. Guys, this was a simple recipe. It was very inexpensive and we used my leftovers, didn't we? Yes, we did. Got to use those leftovers. Um, antioxidants, low calcium. It was easy. It was fun. Bye-bye. Bye, Johnson.